Hello and welcome to the Sands of Time review channel. It is your host Sammy Thunder back at it once again with another one of my Watch Express episodes. Today we are discussing a watch um, newly released, uh, fresh off the press, the Tudor Ranger, uh, obviously from Tudor the brand, and kind of wanted to go through this watch and kind of give my overview and my opinions on this watch um, because you know it's kind of been the talk of the town. Lately, um, and I kind of wanted to give you guys my opinions on the Tudor Ranger. Um, to go through the Tudor Ranger, this is the release, um, and you have it in a two strap options, one with a Marine National, uh, Erica's original, and the other with a kind of like a hybrid rubber leather strap, and then you have got the bracelet. I think the best thing about this watch is, um, you know, it's, it's a reissue of the Tudor Ranger, uh, but it's obviously they've done uh, better things to it as in they've put in the in-house caliber or the Kinesi movement the MT5402 which features the 70 hour power reserve which is just great to see uh, in a everyday sport or tool watch and you got this new clasp system which I'm glad Tudor is actually putting into the new watches um, slowly and slowly for some releases I'm not sure why for some of the newer releases that didn't use this new T-Class system, but essentially it, it's just the on-the-fly micro-adjustment system, which is just great to have. Um, apart from that, you know, it's a 39mm case compared to the previous reissue of 41 mils, and the bracelet actually uh, meets the end link, uh, so it's it's got a f good fit to the lug. Um, and, you know, it, it's kind of reminiscent of the Rolex Explorer, but you know, the Tudor Ranger, historically, it has its significance, and just to go through uh, some some of the history, I'm not going to go through all the history, but just kind of going through the evolution of the watch design, because, you know, it started off, you know, the Ranger name was patented, uh, you know, registered, sorry, and then, you know, you started to see that Ranger uh, on the dial itself, and it's, you know, you started seeing it with the Oyster case, and, you know, the 36912 Explorer-like dial. Um, very, very, you know, uh, time. it is a timeless design, the 36912, and that's why you see it with the Rolex Explorer, the 369 dial. Um, and this is kind of how the Tudor Ranger evolved uh, over time. And then, you know, in 1973, you know, you started to see some wacky designs. And in 2014 kind of had this watch here which you know wasn't a huge fan of because you know it, I I just think it looked a little bit cheap and then this is what we have in 2022 um my opinions on this Tudor Ranger watch is that you know it's it's good to see from the brand but I probably expected more um because you know I'm I'm one of the people that you know as a Tudor let's say enthusiast or fan I'm not really asking for a reissue of a Tudor Ranger um, and I was not even expecting to see a Ranger I thought there would actually be a kind of a reintroduction of the Tudor North flag which I really appreciate for being a modern sport watch what Tudor have done here is kind of tried to do that reissue uh, but with a better movement a modern movement uh, screw down crown 100 meters water resistance um, and a a bracelet which features on the fly micro adjustment system but to me it's very bland um which you know it is a timeless design and yes it is it it will appear boring to some people to me it does but for me i would have preferred if you know the dial itself didn't have you know flat printing so all the numerals and indices there are flat printed and there's not much depth to that loom uh or or the uh, the applied not the applied, sorry, the printed numerals. Um, so it appears, let's say, very cheap and ordinary. And, you know, when it comes to dial design, etc., um, you know, you've got brands like Smith's that are offering um, amazing Explorer-esque uh, style of design and, you know, its own heritage as well. So I would have expected a little bit more with, on from the dial, you know, maybe a bit of more, bit more depth from the numerals. Or try to make a modern reissue or reinterpretation, sorry. So try and use modern features that you'd see, you know, in modern tool watches. So you'd have, um, let's say, instead of using a polished a handset, you might have, uh, you know, contrasting brushed handset. Uh, so, you know, there's a clear, distinct 
distinction between the hands and the black dial so it improves legibility whereas Tudor have chosen to go with the polished handset um, which I, I believe it probably you know it kind of fades uh, fades away in certain lights because it's polished and in certain lights it can appear as black that's just something with very high polished uh, material or stainless steel so overall I think the watch is cool I do appreciate the fact that they have you know it's pretty much majority um, satin brushed finishing but there are some very some subtle um, let's say polished finishes and that's on the bezel and that's pretty much all I see I uh, see that I think the polishing uh, sorry the brushing from Tudor brand is actually pretty good the polishing and that's just me from experiencing the Tudor P01 because that actually had a, a satin finished uh, case as well uh, so I appreciate it and I appreciate obviously subtle details you know you got the Tudor rose on the crown um, but you know I this kind of design is very very uh, very basic for for my tastes um, but you know there are people that appreciated this and there are people that have waited for it to me it's not my cup of tea um, but I do like the updates and I think the price is you know for a Tudor is reasonable um, but what I would have preferred or what I would have liked to see is the reintroduction of the Tudor North flag and you can see the difference between a modern tool watch and a vintage uh, reissued tool watch and you can see by the hands you have that uh, you know how do I describe this this is a similar handset that you'd see on the Tudor Pelagos the Omega Speedmaster where you have the you know this white white kind of uh, it's a, it's a weird description when you zoom into it it has a like a texture to it very legible so it's extremely legible the applied indices legible 12 and 6 a power reserve indicator integrated tool watch design integrated sport uh, case design sorry um, and it would have been great to see you know a watch like this because I, I do appreciate something new from the brand and you get a little bit of a look onto the movement um, and in terms of the specs, it's 100 meters water resistance, uh, but yeah, it's just uh, a nice um, reinterpretation or re, re, uh, a brand new release from Tudor compared to the the Tudor Ranger, which you know it's just a bit of a blander bland release, uh, you know, for for myself. But nonetheless, it's you know they have reissued the Tudor Ranger, and this is what's offered. Uh, but I think there are watches out there that can satisfy um, your needs uh, for an everyday, you know, black dial tool watch. Um, but nonetheless, this is the Tudor name, this is the Ranger name, this is the collection to the Rolex history and heritage. It's its own heritage used in expeditions. Um, but, you know, it's something I myself am not the biggest fan of. It's very it just appears very let's say a bit cheap uh to my taste and it's it satisfies the need for an everyday sport watch but i think there are a lot of watches out there that um will satisfy your need for for a much more affordable price um but that's kind of my thought on this whole new release um i tend to be excited about new tutor releases but then um you know it settles down and you know, it's just another tutor at this point in time because just based on what we've been seeing is, you know, with the Black Bay range, you know, you, they released the silver one, a gold one, just different materials, a ceramic one, which I kind of like, um, the Pelagos FXD, which, you know, I don't think people have gotten their hands on for over a year. Um, so, you know, that's a watch I kind of, I'm interested in as well. Uh, but yeah, just just the overall condition the the f kind of like the fake hype uh that tudor creates you know for their watches just um i'm kind of over it uh, at this point in time so this is kind of my thoughts and opinions on the tudor ranger let me know down in the com comments below what you think of this watch